called the Red Bull Human Express, and we'll run on the Pony Express route in, to commemorate the 150th anniversary of the ride in 1860 and 1861. Generally speaking, it's about 2,200 miles, the route that I'm doing. A lot of it's dirt road, a lot of it's uh, a little bit of cross country. It's good stuff. Oh, it's just me, just another really cool piece of history. You know, the Pony Express is, they only did this thing for a year, you know, until they figured it out a little bit better, and the guys were pretty crazy that what they did, and, just the history of it and just to think about what they did and now retracing their steps makes it uh makes it more that much more enjoyable to see how hard it was for them there's no water or anything out there you know they just took off on horses we're monitoring the function of carl's body as he runs 50 miles a day uh, for the next 30 plus days 45 days total so we're just kind of monitoring how his body is responding to the stress of the environment, to the stress of the running, um, to the stress of traveling in the RV, all that, and trying to optimize and tweak various aspects of his routine or program so that he can get the most uh, out of his body. I knew it was, you know, a lot of roads, and that's not really something I normally do, but it makes it a harder challenge for me, which makes it in a way more fun and just a little bit tougher. <laughs> if you look at his heart rate data, you know, he might be averaging, you know, five miles per hour, but he's going for 12 hours. I'm a mountain runner, you know? So the challenge of just being mostly on road is, makes it a little bit tougher. Um, and all the other stuff I do is only 100 miles. This is 2200. Each day we're uploading the data to, if you go to redbull.com slash human express or carlmelzer.com, there's a link there and you can see his heart rate data for the day. You can see his pace his distance. And their legs feel great and uh, I don't have too many issues today and hopefully things will just stay the same and you know and I'll make it to St. Joe. I'm delivering a fast time. <laughs>